Well, hello everyone, I'm Brandon Bonifer and welcome to the channel where we unpack what it means to be productive in digital planning and note taking. And today we're gonna to do just that. Doesn't matter if you're new to using OneNote or you're an experienced user, I'm gonna show you some of the productivity hacks, the ribbon tips and commands that I use to make sure that I'm most efficient with my time when it comes to note taking and digital planning. Over the last few weeks, we've showcased a handful of new devices by Microsoft, one being the Surface Laptop Studio. If it be that device or the Surface Pro 8 that just came out, we're gonna show you how to take advantage of OneNote as well as any other Windows computer using OneNote. So stay with me, I promise it's gonna be worth your time. So many of us have had the opportunity in the last few days and if not the last few weeks to experience the new Windows 11 and to experience the new Surface lineup that came out. Today guys, I'm gonna show you how to get your Microsoft product, your Windows computer, whatever it may be that you're using, set up for using OneNote. There's a lot of different tips and features and tricks that I use when I use OneNote for either digital planning or note taking. And today I'm gonna to kind of go through that. The first thing we're doing is just simply opening OneNote for the very first time. This is the process that you're gonna log into your personal or business account and synchronize your current or new computer with your cloud-based account. So you can go ahead and connect. So the first thing you'll need to do is go ahead and sign in with your username. Typically it's email address. Some people may have a phone number associated with this. Go ahead and click next. And then from there, it'll possibly prompt you for your password. Or in some cases, if you're already logged in uh, with the same account on your computer, it'll just simply log into the next step. So when it initially opens for the first time, it's gonna ask if you wanna open all notebooks, just one notebook, or it'll open to its default My Notebook that's associated with your OneDrive account. Once you have OneNote open, you can go up to the top of corner and click on My Notebook and click on Open More Notebooks. From here, it's gonna take you to an area where you can open up notebooks. You're gonna see the opportunity to browse from your computer or you can browse from your OneDrive account. And on the right side here, you can go through the notebooks that you have and then simply click to open. And at this point, it'll begin to open your notebook. Based on internet speed and the size of the notebook you are opening, it might take a moment or two for it to fully open and download. One of the first things I like to do is I like to go ahead and click on the ribbon and pin the side of my notebooks. This way I can have all my notebooks easily in front of me and I can see all the tabs and sections. I can also expand the width of that if I choose to. The other thing I like to do is I like to look at notebook as a binder. So by going to file, down to options, and clicking on display. And then on the bottom you can see choose to have the tabs on the left side. You can also choose to have the navigation bar on the right side. By default, the navigation bar is on the left side and the tabs are on the right. By this way, you can easily make it so you can navigate from your sections and your notebooks to your individual pages pretty easily. Now, if you're left-handed and you want to move everything to the right side, you can go back in there and change the default settings. Next, after I have my notebook open and the navigation structure set up as I like it, the next thing I wanna do is I want to create some hot tools in the ribbon on my notebook so that I can easily go ahead and reach some of the things I use every day. Some of those commands like my favorite pen, my favorite highlighter, and some additional tools. And you can see here, I can choose some of the most common commands that I often use, like the pen and a highlighter. Now also when you click on the draw tab, you can see the most common used pens and highlighters. To create your own pen or highlighter, click on the color and thickness, then check if you wanna have it as a pen or a highlighter, the thickness you would like, and then hit the color and click OK. Now you'll see that that shows up in your most common used favorite pens and tools. Now if you go ahead and right click on that favorite tool and choose move up, you can begin to move that pen or highlighter up in the organizational path and the most common used pens and highlighters. By moving it into one of those top positions, you'll actually see that that pen or that highlighter will show up in the ribbon as one of those most common tools that you use. For me, this is really big. I generally have a very thin 
pen and a very thick pen that I can use for doing markup. And then I have additional highlighters, but just by moving that up ever so slightly, you will see that now that pen tool starts to show up in there. And you can do the same thing then with highlighters as well. And we can add additional highlighters and additional pens. Now, if I tap on it and select that pen, I can go ahead and I can write right on the screen and I can easily jump to the highlighter. To me, this is a huge, huge benefit. So to add additional commands, go to Mort Commands. And then from here, you're gonna see you have all of the quick access toolbars. Now across the top, you can see it says popular commands, but you also have the ability to check individual commands as well. And we'll get into that in a second. But you can see here, I'm easily just adding additional highlighters. You can see I have one, two pens and four highlighters. Those are some of my favorite tools to add. And you can access all the common commands in here, or you can click on all commands. And this will show you all the commands within OneNote that you can add to this ribbon. I'm gonna show you a couple additional commands that I really enjoy, and maybe even touch upon why I enjoy them. The new window tab is one I like to do, use a lot. It allows me to open up additional windows of the same page in the notebook. This easily gives me access to do split screen or just jumping back and forth. Page templates is another one. I often save my pages in my templates as page templates in OneNote so I can easily just add additional pages to the notebook versus having to go to the templates folder of our planner and copy those templates. That to me is a big feature and something you guys are gonna to wanna to set up. You should easily have access to those page templates then no matter what notebook you're in. If you're in one of our planning notebooks or if you have a notebook of your own. So you can see there's a number of different tools and commands that you can use here. But now if we jump into individual pages like draw, it kind of helps break down what we're looking for. The ink style one is I, another one I really like to use because it gives me access to all of those pens I have. The lasso select allows me to easily click and grab my lasso tool so I can lasso uh, different items on my page if it be ink or text or photos. Right turn is a good one, especially if you're using a lot of photos or images. Snap the grid is another one of my favorite tools. To reorganize these tools, select one and then you can just click the up and down arrows to move those so that they have better placement for you. Hit OK and you'll see the tools are now in that ribbon so you can easily click them and there's that lasso tool. So by doing this, I think you're gonna all find that your productivity game when it comes to note taking and digital planning is greatly going to increase and you're just become more functional when you're using OneNote for digital planning, especially note taking. And again, if you add a highlighter or a pen, you can go under draw, you can right click on that and move it up and you'll see by moving it up in the top four places, it'll move into the ribbon key as one of your favorite uh, pens or highlighters. So I told you we talk about the new window feature. So by clicking that, you can see I opened up two of the same notebook and now I can go and create a side by side notebook experience. For me, this is huge, especially when it comes to working on my weekly review or if it's planning from one day to the next day, I can navigate through the planner or through any notebook that I have in OneNote on both sides. And it gives me a really a nice workspace so I can do side by side note taking. So one of the last productivity hacks is by going to start and searching for OneNote, I can click pin to taskbar. And this puts OneNote right in my taskbar so I can easily click and open that whenever I wanna to get to my note taking app. So guys, if you got one tip out of that video, please do me a favor, hit the like button so others may benefit from this. If you thought that information was great and you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Guys, we have another video that I'm gonna encourage you guys to watch. It's about creating hyperlinks in OneNote, and that's gonna be at the end of this video, so you're gonna take advantage of that. I'm Brandon Bonerfer, creator and founder of the Keats Sense Planning System. And if you guys are looking at traditional planning or you wanna get into digital planning and you really wanna help increase your productivity, grow your businesses, improve your organizations, or find career success, by all means, check out our website, learn more about our system. Until we see each other again, God bless each and every one of you.